All right, good morning, YouTube. Uh, so this is dried overnight. Uh, turned out pretty good. Um, it's nice and hard. It's got a pretty good texture. It doesn't scratch or anything. Um, and you can hear how dead it is uh, versus something like uh, maybe the roof. You can hear that resonance there. So. <coughs> Kind of regretting not doing the roof on the inside and then putting the headliner, but if it's super loud, I'll take it out and do it again. It'd be easy. Um, so yeah, we'll set up the camera here and I'll do a time lapse of reinstalling the entire t interior. Um, probably only be like 45 seconds for you guys, but it'll probably take me like two hours. So okay, well, thanks for watching. All right, so I got all the side trims back on. Um, those ones went on pretty good. I'll probably have to readjust where the seat latches in. I tried to match up where the uh, where the actual bolt heads made contact with the metal brackets, um, and they're in the same spot as they were. Hopefully, uh, that should be all right. Um, up here, the hardest part was these trim panels right here that go straight across. Um, it was pretty hard to get those ones on, but then this side finally figured out the angle so there's an angle on this trim piece here if you just go vertical with this angle like so if you just come in at the same angle that this is so that so you can see it's kind of the right flat angle that way you're not re-tapping new holes in the metal uh, and these are solid um, I think the bed liner got in some of the holes and made it a little more difficult to get in there but it's all right it's just tighter now um so next I'll do, I don't know, probably do the center console, and then after that I'll probably do the headliner, just because I think that would make the most sense, give me a lot of room to mess around in here. So, um, I know that's not the order I took it out in, but I think that will be a better order to put it back in. So, alright, I'll set up another little high speed shot there. Alright, so that was hard. Um, the trick to getting this thing on and off, just so everyone knows, um, is you have to be in four high for it to get over the shifter and have enough room to go forward. Uh, so four high, and then you have to be in obviously neutral to get it to go to that, and then you have to rock your uh, Jeep back and forth to get it to pop into that. So anyway, uh, it's in, and then I reconnected my lights, and then I think I found this harness. I don't know what it was for. Um, Maybe an old radio or something, um, but I'm just gonna hide it underneath this, uh, just because I don't want to cut it and then have a bunch of unterminated wires. So, yep, not sure what that's for. If anyone does, uh, let me know. Also, um, if anyone knows, there's like a couple random wires. I think it's maybe for different like options that came with these or something. But um, yeah, should go pretty smooth now that I got it in here and seated properly. The only thing is now I didn't mark my bolts and screws so I got all kinds of different screws. I'm pretty sure these like medium guys go to the de or to the console so should be okay and then I think all right it's out of the garage uh, started up had a dead battery so I think I'm gonna change that out. It shouldn't have died that quick. Uh, but anyway uh, we got the seats out I hit them one more time they look pretty good actually for what they were and get out of the shadow. Pretty good, no rips, no tears. Pretty good. Still gonna put the seat covers on just cause we think the black looks better. Um, what I ended up using was this stuff. Um, worked pretty good. You just take that and then you scrub it with a little plastic brush that they give you. Um, yep. Say hi Eric. Alright, um, I just noticed actually, I'm going to have to do yeah. serpentine belt and yeah. the compressor clutch probably. Because it bogs the engine out when you turn the AC on. So, But yep, yeah. so. In here just cleaning up. Bed it's liner. like secret cleaning pad. With one of those magic erasers. They work really well on old cars with a lot of stuff. Yep. So I got all the plugs in here, 
I'm gonna have to get these bigger plugs. I'm not sure what size those are, but they're missing, so I wanna plug that up. Um, but I got everything in here. I was gonna do the time-lapse videos of me putting uh, the center console in and the headliner, but it was really just me struggling for like three hours and I kept knocking the camera over, so I didn't show it, so. <laughs> But yeah, it turned out really good. You can see what it looks like in the daytime here. So it's got a pretty nice texture everywhere. I'm in the Jeep air! So we're just doing the final cleanup here and then we'll get the seats in it. I'm gonna put the seat covers on while she's in here just giving it final detailing. And then we're gonna do a test drive. Well, not a test drive, I already know it runs, but do the first little family trip to the auto store for a new battery. So that'll be fun. Got the headliner in there. That's honestly that's that's a huge pain. I'd rather I'd rather weld and cut metal to fill holes than put a headliner in any day of the week. So that was not fun. Oh also when you're putting your center console in, remember there's a little air duct that runs up there all the way back. So if you put it in, then you forget that you didn't put that in. You have to take the whole thing off and start all over again. Super fun. So, yep. Um, so I'll probably throw the seats in here in a little bit, and then we're gonna get on the road. All right, so I've made it out of the garage. All the seats are back in it. Looks good. I'm gonna get some like WeatherTech mats or something to cut just a set down there. Um, we just drove it, so that's why we got pine needles everywhere again, but that's fine. Yeah, it runs real good. So, that was worth it. Got rid of all that rust. I know you can't see the patch job that I did, but I know it's right, so that's all that matters. Turned out real good. Uh, I'm probably gonna, when I rhino line that edge, or not rhino line, sorry, when I bed line this edge, I'm gonna do the bumper back here too. Um, that way because this is all funky it's got looks like it's got a couple different colors of black on there um yeah just put the stock roof rack back on i'm not gonna put the uh that big guy on over there it was that thing weighs a ton so i don't know if that's a custom or not but if anyone's on the oregon coast i'll be selling it if you want it <laughs> so also, if anyone knows if this is like a custom one, or if this is a specific brand, I've been looking around, I can't figure it out, so I think someone made it. Um, yep, so all that's next, I gotta do a serpentine belt in it, it's a little squeaky. Uh, I'm probably gonna do spark plugs, fuel injectors, Hi. all the good stuff. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you have fun working on it today, dude? Yeah. Yeah? Nice. Thank you for your help. No, we're going to leave that off because it weighs no. a ton. Dad. Try to lift it. Let's see you lift it. Nope. <laughs> Dad, show them the skull on it. Yeah, it's a cool sticker, huh? Is that one a sticker? Yeah, it's a sticker. It's not going to come off. You can see the part that I painted is a lot nicer than the part that I didn't. That looks good in the sun. So... This bed liner turned out really good. I like it. For some reason I can't get, um, that light up there won't turn off ever. So I had to pull the light out and this one won't turn on. So got to look at that. I'm not sure if they worked before I did it. They've had these cool LED replacement lights, which I've never seen before, but they're actually pretty sweet. So look at that. And then another thing that came up, just little stuff. Um, Apparently I didn't put the shifter back in correctly, so now the shifter is one gear off forward, so the indicator is not even on here, um, but that's park, and then so each one is, it, everything just shift forward, so I probably don't have my last one, I probably don't have one, two, so I didn't check it, but, um, so that was kind of a pain to to get out of gear. So uh, probably pop that off and take a look and see what's going on there. Um, the e-brake doesn't really hold super tight, so I'll do some adjustment there. I did want to do- Dad just pulled off the light. 
Yep, pulled off the lights. Um, I'm gonna put a new battery in it because the battery died pretty quick. Um, so, just little stuff. Uh, nothing super exciting planned, uh, except when I go to look at the brakes, if they're trash, if the rear brakes are trash, um, then I'll probably just go ahead and do the uh, the YJ swap, uh, which just puts rear disc brakes back here instead of drums, which is nice, especially when you upgrade your tires and suspension and everything, you want to stop a little better. So, yep. All right, well, this will be the end of day, what is this? end of day six so um sorry i didn't put any do any time lapses of any of this stuff it's kind of kind of boring you're just putting in two bolts in the front and two bolts in the back so pretty easy um the seats are super clean but we still put these covers back on just because they they look nice so but yeah anyway, thanks for watching